derive an expression for the EMF of electrolyte concentration cell reversible to anion with transference. Consider a cell of the type silver is in contact with silver chloride is in contact with HCl of activity A1 and another electrode is HCl of activity A2, silver chloride solid and silver. These two half cells are connected with the porous partition and transport of hydrogen and chloride ions are indicated just below the cell. This cell consists of two metal insoluble salt type electrodes that is silver silver chloride electrode in contact with HCl solution of different concentrations or activities. The two solutions are in direct contact with each other through porous partition. This cell is reversible to anions that is chloride ions. Let A1 is greater than A2. As the two solutions are in direct contact, the transfer of electrolyte takes place from one compartment to another. Hence, there will be liquid junction potential formation. When one faraday of electricity passes through the cell, the following reaction occurs at the respective electrodes of the cell. At left hand electrode, oxidation takes place. That is, silver solid combines with chloride ions of activity A1 producing silver chloride solid plus electron is liberated out. At right hand electrode reduction takes place that is that is silver chloride solid combines with one electron producing solid silver plus chloride ions of activity A2. Net cell reaction will be the combination of these two reactions. Therefore chloride ions of activity A1 is being converted into chloride ions of activity A2. This is equation number one. The electrons liberated move in external circuit from left hand electrode to right hand electrode. To complete the circuit, similar charges must pass from right to left through the liquid junction. These charges are carried by the ions of the solution. As chloride ions carry negative charge, they move in the direction of electrons. The hydrogen ions carry positive charge and thus they move in the opposite direction. Thus, while the current is passing, T plus gram ions of hydrogen ions will migrate across the junction between the two solutions from left to right and T minus gram ions of chloride ions will move in the opposite direction. Here T plus and T minus are the transference number of hydrogen and chloride ions respectively. Therefore T plus Faraday of charge will be carried by T plus gram ions of H plus from left to right and T minus Faraday of charge will be carried by T minus gram ions of chloride from right to left. These reactions can be written as for the transfer of hydrogen ions, T plus gram ions of H plus ions of activity A1 is being transferred to T plus grams ions of H plus ions of activity A2. This is equation number 2. Similarly, for the transfer of chloride ions, T minus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 is being transferred to T minus grams of chloride ions of activity A1. Since the sum of T plus and T minus is 1, therefore T minus is equals to 1 minus T plus. Let's substitute this value. So 1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 is being transferred to 1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A1. This is equation number 3. As all the processes are taking place simultaneously, the net cell reaction is given by addition of equation 1, 2 and 3. So let's add all of them. Chloride ions of activity A1 plus T plus grams of hydrogen ions of activity A1 plus 1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 is being converted into chloride ions of activity A2 plus T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A2 plus 1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A1. Let's open the bracket. Chloride ions of activity A1 plus T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A1 plus chloride ions of activity A2 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 is being transferred to chloride ions of activity A2 plus T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A2 plus chloride ions of activity A1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A1. Here we can cancel the chloride ions of activity A1 and chloride ions of activity A2. So what is remaining is T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A1 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 is being transferred to 
T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A2 minus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A1. Let's rearrange this and we can get T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A1 plus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A1 is being transferred to T plus grams of H plus ions of activity A2 plus T plus grams of chloride ions of activity A2. Now we can combine H plus and Cl minus to form HCl. So T plus grams of HCl of activity A1 is being transferred to T plus grams of HCl of activity A2. From this net cell reaction, the Nernst equation for the above cell can be written as E cell is equals to E0 cell minus RT by NF ln of activity A2 divided by A1 power to T plus or E cell is equals to E0 of the cell minus 2.303 RT by F log of activity A2 divided by A1 power to T plus. Here we have replaced N with 1 as the number of electrons involved in the reaction is only 1. Since for concentration cell both the electrodes are same that's why E0 cell is equals to 0 volt. Therefore E cell is equals to minus 2.303 RT by F log of A2 by A1 power to T plus. At standard conditions that is 298 degrees Kelvin 2.303 RT by F is equals to 0 0.0591. So let's substitute this value. E cell is equals to minus 0 0.0591 log of A2 by A1 power to T plus. Let's take this power out of the log. Therefore E cell becomes minus 0 0.0591 into T plus log of A2 by A1. Now we can invert this A2 by A1 so that we can remove the negative sign. Therefore E cell is equals to 0 0.0591 into T plus log of A1 by A2. This is the final expression for the EMF of electrolyte concentration cell with transference reversible to anions. Since HCl is uni univalent electrolyte, A1 is equals to M1 square gamma 1 square and A2 is equal to M2 square gamma 2 square where M and gamma represent molality and activity coefficient. Thus, E cell becomes 0 0.0591 into T plus log of M1 square gamma 1 square divided by M2 square gamma 2 square or E cell is equals to 0 0.0591 T plus log of M1 gamma 1 by M2 gamma 2 power to 2. Let's take this power also out of the log. Therefore, E cell becomes 0 0.0591 into 2T plus log of M1 gamma 1 divided by M2 gamma 2. For spontaneous cell reaction, A1 must be greater than A2. It should be noted that if the electrodes of the concentration cell are reversible with respect to anion, the transference number of the cation gets involved in the equation. Please note, if the electrolyte used in the above cell is biunivalent or unibivalent, then A1 is equals to 4 M1 cube gamma 1 cube and A2 is equals to 4 M2 cube gamma 2 cube. Hence, the expression of EMF of the cell becomes E cell is equals to 0 0.0591 into 3 times T plus log of M1 gamma 1 divided by M2 gamma 2. So now, let's take one example of the similar type. The EMF of the following cell with transference is 0 0.0461 volt at 298 degrees Kelvin. The cell is platinum is in contact with chlorine gas at 1 atmospheric pressure, is in contact with sodium chloride, activity 0.1. Then there is porous partition and sodium chloride, activity 0.01, in contact with chlorine gas at 1 atmospheric pressure and then there is platinum. Calculate the transport number of sodium and chloride ions. For concentration cells with transference reversible to anion, we have the formula Et at 298 degrees Kelvin is equals to 0 0.0591 into 2 times T plus log of A1 by A2. Substituting the data, so we have E cell of 0 0.0461 is equals to 0 0.0591 into 2 times T plus log of 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.01 which gives 0 0.0461 is equals to 0 0.0591 into 2 times t plus log of 10. Let's take the log now. So 0 0.0461 is equals to 0 
into 2 times t plus into 1. Let's move everything on the other side of the equal. So t plus is equals to 0 0.0461 divided by 0 0.0591 into 2 which is 0 0.0461 divided by 0 0.1182 which finally comes to 0 0.390. This is the transport number of positive ions that is sodium ions. So transport number of sodium ions is 0 0.390. Therefore we can calculate the transport number of chloride ions is equals to 1 minus transport number of sodium ions which is 1 minus 0 0.390 and it finally comes to be 0 0.610. If you like my videos please click on the like button and if you are new to my channel please click on the subscribe button. Also, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.